Hello, everybody. Welcome to Glaze's Geese Garage. This week, um, we're going to show I got all my the body, the, all the other parts, fiberglass parts. I've got it all media blasted. A uh, good friend of mine out on Route 44 here in the Akron, Ohio area. Strip Masters is the name of the place. He does a great job, especially on fiberglass. He uses a plastic media. Uh, we're going to get all that media blasted. We're going to finish up painting the uh, birdcage. So, thanks for joining. Hey, everybody out there. This is Glaze's Geezer Garage. And if you see here, I got the split window coop up on a trailer. I'll show you, but this is headed to the media blast. There's not much to media blast, just the floor and the back and the top. But uh, let's take a look at it. Okay, as you can see here, I got it on the dolly. Got it strapped down well. Take a good look at this out in the light. See, you got the quarters all stripped off. Got most of the undercoating scraped off. Most of this right here is going to come out anyway for the big tub kit. But uh, you still, still got some patching to do here on the, on the tunnel. But I wanted to wait and get that TKX 5-speed in there to see if I have any modifications to make. I know I'm going to have to modify this section here, raise it up for the uh, drive shaft. So, yeah, it looks good. Dolly worked real nice. Just winched it up on the ramps with my little... $85 winch so yeah I got it strapped down to the dolly and I have the birdcage strapped down just in case these bolts would come loose I don't have far to go about an hour drive but yeah let's keep going okay got the uh, split window Unloaded at the media blast place. Got it set in the air. He's going to take it in tonight and start blasting on it. Yeah, pretty excited about this. Okay, folks, got the trailer here. We're at Strip Masters. Great guy. I know him been for years. Uh, my '56 Chevy that was done 26 years ago. He did a lot of media blasting for me on that. You see here, he's got the vet all cleaned up and done. So let's pull it out and take a look at it. All right, here we are. This is Ben from Strip Masters. Uh, I'll show you the work he did on the vet, but a great job. Uh, I've known Ben for, I just calculated while we were moving that thing. I've had my 56 restored for 25 years and it was probably a year ahead of that. So 26, 27 years I've known Ben. I was much younger and he was much younger then, but uh, oh, yeah. he's got a great company here. You see the sign, Strip Masters, if you guys need any media blasting for fiberglass parts. Uh, he's also got a uh, abrasive uh, separate facility for metal, so he can do anything you guys need. So give him a shout, Strip Masters. Appreciate it, Ben. Thanks a lot, bud. You're welcome. Okay, let's take a close look at this work. It looks good. Uh, a little bit of fitting and stuff. But you know what? This whole car is going to get plenty of primer filler uh, I find this interesting that if you look real close somebody redrilled all the holes for the emblem why they did that I don't know probably fill all those in and start over yeah it looks pretty good you see some filler here probably factory filler see some of that here yeah, the window jams turned out real nice, nice and smooth. Again, this is factory filler here. Everything looks real good. If you look real close, you can see a little hump there. Got one in the same spot over here. So that's probably like that from the factory, but this is all getting filled in. My, uh, my repair work made, made it through pretty good, as you can see here. So really happy with that. Okay, folks, we're all loaded up, ready to head back to the geezer garage. Let's go, let's get it done.
Okay, the split window is back home. And it's a nice little spot. Did a pretty good job. Removed most of the paint. A few little pits here and there, but that's the age of the fiberglass probably. A little pitting up here, but not bad. Yeah, looks real nice. Got all the paint off. Cleaned up the floorboard real nice. Looks good. Just had him do the upper parts of the back because I'm cutting this rear floor out. Yeah, everything looks good. Come over here and see the back looks good. Yeah, pretty good job. Strip Masters Ben is his name. Ben at Strip Masters, they do a nice, nice job. Appreciate it, buddy. What I'm working on today is just certain areas of the birdcage that are susceptible to rust. Like when I sandblasted this top rail, it was pitted, so I went ahead and coated that with a Eastwood. Uh, it's actually an internal frame coating, but it encapsulates the uh, rust and converts it. So, uh, you know, any uh, little added rust prevention, you know, right here in these corners, they tend to get pitted. Coated that. Um, couple of little places here that were pitted that I had repaired. I went ahead and got the Z-bar because it had a little surface rust that I ground off up here, right along the top window rail of the birdcage and the back rail, right, support right there for the split window. So yeah, I got those coated and then I'm gonna let that dry, clean everything up and then I'll paint it with this uh, zinc chromate paint, which was kind of the color, a little darker than the original, but um, I'm gonna hit it with zinc chromate just because it's what was on there when it was new. coats on. I did not cover where I had put the rust uh, encapsulation. I'm going to give that 24 hours to dry and then hit those areas with the zinc chromate paint. It went on pretty nice. A couple runs here and there, but that's what the factory does, has runs too, so looks pretty good. Getting it on nice and thick. Yeah, pretty happy. It's gonna take a while to dry, but that's okay. Got plenty of time again. I didn't paint up here where I put the rust encapsulator. Got to do the underneath of the rockers and the back of the lock pillar jams. I run out of zinc chromate, so I'm gonna order, eh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and order three more cans, maybe four. I think I'll order four just for safety's sake.
Okay, as you can see, I have the bird cage all painted with uh, zinc chromate paint, which is the stock paint. A little darker than the stock color, but that's the closest I could find. So yeah, we got it painted up. We got a little spot of mist there. I'm gonna have to catch that. Uh, I bring out a paint. I got a little bit left. I might shoot that one piece real quick. But yeah, you can see inside. I got it all painted. Real happy with my repairs. You can see right there a little bit of weld mark, but that's okay. I want to leave some weld on to make it strong. Yeah, real happy right now with where things are at. Now that I have the bird cage painted, uh, I could start. I could probably put the firewall on. I'm not sure how much I want to glue together without the chassis I'm going to use. I'm just, I think I'm going to be patient. I think I'm going to wait for that roaster shop chassis, get it on the chassis, Put the doors on, shim everything so the doors fit, and then glue everything on from there. I could probably put the firewall on because that's not going to make a difference if it's a little out of whack. But I think everything else, I'd rather have the, the chassis here. So yeah, so we're doing good, getting, getting things moving, working on this and the 64 Impala, which is right on the other side of the curtain there. Um, sure glad I put that curtain up because it's saving a lot of paint dust. Um... I have an exhaust fan, but it's still saving a lot of paint dust from going over there. Thank you, everybody, for watching Glaze's Geezer Garage. I really appreciate, appreciate you watching this week's video. If you're interested in last week's video, where I've uh, owned my 56 Chevy for 52 years, just hit the button up here, and I'll take you straight to the video. Appreciate you guys. Remember to like, subscribe, and share the videos. It really helps us out. We're, our viewership's picking up. Our subscriptions are picking up. We really appreciate you guys. Thanks a lot.